Well, the record's not good, but Mike Glennon's put up some pretty impressive stats so far. 11 touchdowns, four picks, uh, two touchdowns, no picks against the Falcons with a win on Sunday on the road in Detroit. And the uh, Tampa Bay rookie quarterback joining us on the show. Let me start with last night, Mike. What did you see at the end of that game from a quarterbacking perspective with the call? Uh, I didn't get a get a good glimpse of it just having to catch a uh, recap of it this morning. But I mean, I think it's one of those situations where it's a tough call for the ref, and either side is going to be disappointed with the call, whether it's made one way or another. So, um, you know, it's a tough way to end the game for the Patriots, but. Uh, I, I can't comment on it too much because... Oh, you're not going to get I fined. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's just hard. I think it was a tough call for the ref to make one way or another. Um, I'm sure he had, he had the best vision of it, better than the camera. So he, he just got to trust what he saw. So I guess that he made the call that he feels is best. Yeah, but how many times do we think something's uncatchable? Vincent Jackson has a catch, it seems like, every week where you go, how did he do that? He had a wanted to grab on Sunday. So for us to say what's uncatchable, how many times as a quarterback are you surprised that one of your receivers or watching some other receiver catch a ball that you think is uncatchable? I think when I, as a rookie, you quickly learn in the NFL how talented these guys are, and you kind of a lot of times can just throw it up in a general area, and they, they somehow come, come down with it. And Vincent Jackson has been proof of that for me um, throughout the year so far. He's kind of just throw it, throw it in a general area, and he finds a way to make a play. As, so uh, I've been fortunate enough to have uh, thrown, thrown it out to Vince and, and let him do his thing. As a rookie, can you work the refs? Will they listen to a rookie quarterback? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I've really ventured out of that path, path yet. I just kind of introduced myself, and, um, and that's about <laughs> it. I haven't really tried to uh, get on their good side too much. Wait, but, wait, wait, wait. You uh, walk up and say, uh, excuse me, uh, sir, I'm Mike Glenn, and I'm the Tampa quarterback here. Uh, they usually come up before the game and in, introduce themselves and uh, just say nice to meet you and, and that kind of thing. But I, I don't work them too hard yet. Yeah, I wonder if they'll give you uh, the benefit of the doubt. That's why I thought with, with uh, Brady, Belichick, Patriots last night that they might get the benefit of the doubt, but uh, not not the case. Did you expect to be the backup quarterback when you were drafted by Tampa? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I knew they had a uh, quarterback that had been here for a few years. Um, I figured that that's what they were bringing me in to do, but, um, things changed and I just wanted to make the most of my opportunity. And, um, you know, we're kind of moved on from that situation now. And, um, I'm just happy to be out there playing and, uh, help, help contribute to the team and, and finally get some wins. But you go into that situation. I don't know if going into North Carolina State helped you, where Russell Wilson was there, where you know he he you know is he going to play baseball or not? But he's the incumbent. So did that situation in any way help you deal with what happened in Tampa? I think so. Um, you know, stepping in for Russell was a situation that was extremely unique, and I knew around around the the program around the state and really the country that people were going to put a lot of pressure on me to outperform him or, or whatever the situation they were looking for. I don't, I don't know. I just try to stay away from it. And I knew here replacing a guy that has um, done a lot of good things for, for the bucks, people were going to try to make comparisons. And um, I just kind of keep, keep my mind focused at what I can handle and not really worry about what other people have to say. He's Mike Glennon, the bucks rookie quarterback joining us, Dan Patrick show. Have uh, they made you uh, go out and get donuts and do some things like that? We're not using the word hazing here, but uh, have the uh, the Bucks had some fun with you? Uh, we really hadn't. We didn't do much at all. The the really only thing I had to do was go get Chipotle a few times. Um, <laughs> but other than that, we we were far from all that. And uh, the rest of the quarterback group has been uh, pretty easy on me. Wait a minute. How many guys do you have to go out and get Chipotle? Well. It, right, there's three of us at quarterback, so it's just really me, me and two other guys. So it's it's pretty easy. Oh, that's not you know it's twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. That's nah, not bad at all. Uh, they return the favor too. So uh, uh, give me uh, the I've had it. give me the welcome to the NFL moment where you go either something really good or real really bad happened where you went okay. Um, I think probably. The 
I think right away, I mean, in the preseason games, you just – my first preseason game was against the, the Ravens, who are – they're coming off, coming off the Super Bowl championship, and, and you line up against I, – I was in there for a series with their starting defense, and you see kind of guys that you've seen your, for the past few years, and everyone, all 11 guys, just look so big and so fast. And, you know, for very first play, I was – um, we were on our like two yard line and we almost <laughs> took a safety and it was going through my head. Oh no, my first play in the NFL is going to be a safety. And, and luckily I got out of it and it turned into like a 60 yard game. You got uh you guys have won two in a row here. Is this an aberration or like, are you guys onto something here? I think from, we've always had a talented group. We just haven't been able to put it all together. And I think things kind of turned the corner um, that week up in Seattle when we were, um, playing against the, the number one team in the NFC right now um, at a stadium where they hadn't lost in almost two years. And we got up on a 21 0 start on them. And, and we weren't able to finish the game, but we played some, some really good football, both offense, defense, special teams. And um, ever since then, we've, we've had a lot of confidence and have been able to finally finish a game these past two weeks. Biggest misconception about Coach Shiano is what? I think that, I mean, from what I hear from the outsiders is that they think he's this uh, really strict guy, but it's and it's not like that. I mean, he's a he talks with all the players, he jokes with the players, he he takes in our opinion, and um, he, he's a really good coach. And sometimes that gets a little misconstrued. Have you been yelled at? <laughs> I think every, everybody's been yelled at. <laughs> but, uh, honestly, I, I got yelled at a, a lot more in college than I do now. Really. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised at that. Well, uh-huh. plus, we can see these NFL games. Everybody gets to see them. So when you get called over or the coach got something to say to you, everybody's noticing. Not everybody saw North Carolina State games. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, the coaches here are, uh, you know, never, never really lay in too much. They just kind of correct the mistake and move on. Well, good luck against Detroit. Congrats on the uh, first half of the season. And thanks for joining us, Mike. All right. Thanks for having me, Dan. All right. Mike Glennon. Bucks rookie quarterback. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.